Hi, I'm Out of Darts. Today I'm back with yet another design for the Zeus Rival. It's a fully electronic trigger that features a solenoid to power the actuator. I started working on this mod because I wanted to finally do something that didn't involve the tube and blower system and that could be done on a standard mag. This magazine hasn't been modified in any way and the solenoid that drives this mechanism is inside the blaster itself. One of my biggest complaints with the uh, stock Zeus was that it has a really heavy trigger pull, especially when you compare it to all the other Nerf blasters. The reason for this is that there are multiple pieces inside the blaster moving when you're pulling that trigger. You'll notice each time I pull the trigger, there's a little bit of kickback. Even when you have the blaster shoulder, I still feel like I'm kind of wrenching on the trigger to, uh, to get that shot off. So what I did with this design is take out all the internals for the trigger mechanism, except for the trigger slide, and put in a solenoid. There are now no moving parts inside here, aside from the trigger slide itself and the actual physical part of the solenoid that moves. Um, the trigger pull is now about three millimeters, so it's really, really small when you're actually pulling on it, and it doesn't require much to, to do it. I've put an on-off switch on the other side that's now my safety, as this uh, original safety no longer works because of the micro switch and the trigger uh, blocking its path. Uh, but if I flick the, flick the blaster on, the lightweight and short trigger pull really allow you to uh, get just one or two shots off even when you're on the full auto mod. This does remove the true semi-auto nature, but I've found that it's a lot more controllable so you really can use it uh, without spewing tons of balls each time. Thanks to Radio Silence 187 for coining the awesome name Hurricane. I think that's uh, really rad. Uh, and uh, he's doing some cool work uh, doing the same mod. So I find with the light trigger pull, you can really easily uh, track and target without wrenching the blaster and changing your aim every time you fire it. Um, so you can see here. One other thing I did want to mention is that though I love this acrylic cement, I really don't recommend using it as a gap filler. I learned my lesson on this blaster and a few others. You can see here with some of the details, I've actually melted the plastic from the inside. So you're much better off using some sort of uh, epoxy putty for, for that purpose. Um, luckily, I didn't completely ruin the blaster, but I did make it an ugly piece of crap. Not that you would ever need to, but I also find that it makes it uh, easier to do one-handed operation. And here's the uh, regular. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Until next time, I'm out of darts.